guys, Kyle with another basement build video. Last time we primed our ceiling. Uh, this video we're going to be taking off all of our doors, setting them up in the middle of the room here so I can prime those and prime the walls. We're going to be doing all of that at the same time, so let's get everything set up. So to hold these doors up, I'm going to be using these here. Uh, I believe they're called Sure Stand. I'll find them and leave a link down in the description. They're very, very handy. Um, they just screw in to the uh, existing cutout here and hold two doors up at once, kind of in an L position or in 90 degrees. They're freestanding and they give you the room to paint every single edge of the door um, and you don't have to lean them up against anything. And also you may have noticed that the bathroom door is not on yet because there's going to be tile that I'm going to be laying down and I'm going to wait to do the door until after I do the tile. Uh, that way I can make sure I can cut the bottom of the door the correct length to where the uh, clearance is going to be correct between the tile and the doors. I will be taking that door off and putting it up in the room just like every other door. Um, for the frame, I'm actually just going to tack it in there with about two or three nails just to uh, get it in there to be able to spray and have it upright. Uh, but I will be cutting those off and uh, redoing it all later uh, after I get that tile done. All right guys, it is prime day today. Uh, I've gone ahead and taped everything off that I need to. I got all the doors set up in the basement. I uh, went over the windows with some tape and went right along the edge up here so I can prime everything correctly. Um, I'll give you a short little look at what I've done for the rest of the basement. Right, I've got our stairway completely taped off where I can prime everything and not get any paint dust upstairs. I have all eight doors stood up here in the middle of the room to where I can easily access all sides of them. Got my doorway taped off and I've got the spare bedroom taped off as well. I also picked up some closet doors for my closet here and I'll be painting those here in this room. So there's not a lot of ventilation down here with everything being taped off, but I will be wearing a mask. Um, it's always important to wear a mask when using these airless sprayers just because of the dust that kicks up and a lot of the fumes coming off the paint. All right, so for doing all the painting, I'm going to be using two different extensions and two different tip sizes. Um, I'm going to be doing all the walls first and then switching out to a smaller setup. This is a 30 inch gun extension and the 517 tip again that we did for the ceiling. Um, this will allow me to not have to bend over, be able to reach all the way from top to bottom and be able to uh, get a good pattern that way. So uh, this will be for the walls only, and I will be switching that out to the 10 inch extension and a smaller tip size. I will throw out a smaller fan whenever I do the doors, and also just like some closets and other little areas that's kind of hard to reach with this 30 inch gun. And I've looked over everything pretty well. I think I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna mix up my primer. Uh, again, I'm gonna be using the Bullseye 123 primer. Uh, just to be white this time. Um, so I'm using that primer for all the walls and doors and the trim, uh, or the door jams right now. So I'll mix that up, clean out my gun, prime it, and we'll get to painting. some windows to get some of this dust out. 
change out my extension size and then we'll start on the doors and door frames. All right, so I got the shorter extension on here with the 313 tip. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do these doorways uh, to do it in one continuous motion. And these doors were already primed from the factory, but uh, there's a saying that goes, pre-prime means re-prime. So did a little bit of work on each one of the doors, just smoothing out a couple of rough spots or edges or things like that. So that's primed up, it's gonna dry, and then we'll throw two top coats on it, and they will be ready to hang up. And I'm actually gonna be doing the top coat on the doors while they're stood up like this, so I don't have to move around and do this again. Um, I'm going to be doing all the trim and the doorways at another time, but I will at least get these all painted up and put in the garage or something like that. So that bullseye primer sprayed on really well. I hadn't used that before. Here is the door after it's dried. And as you can see, it just really laid on nice. And by the way, from start to finish, to do the entire basement, moving that painter around and, and everything, it probably took me an hour to an hour and a half. The doors maybe took 15 to 20 minutes, it didn't take too long. So I would say I probably got actual spray time about two hours, maybe a bit more doing this entire basement. So had zero issues, wasn't streaking at all, uh, I was able to dial in that pressure and it liked that primer a little bit better than the gray I think. But regardless, it uh, laid on real flat and smooth, so I'll do a little bit of sanding and we'll be good to go. All right, so I got all the paint for the doors. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do my first coat this evening and do the second coat tomorrow. Uh, that way, whenever I move them the next day, they'll be completely dry. For the top coat, we'll be using the same thing that we did upstairs, which is Sherwin-Williams Solo in a semi-gloss, and we'll be doing alabaster for the color. By the way, I was not aware earlier when I was talking how much paint I had on my face. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of dust earlier. Uh, this shouldn't be as bad. I'm using the 313 tip again and the short extension. Uh, just doing the doors. Going to do our first coat tonight, second coat tomorrow. We let the first coat dry overnight. We're going to do the second top coat on the doors. And as you can see, the uh, first coat went on there super smooth. So we'll get the second coat on and then we're going to leave them here again for another day. While they're in here, we're also going to do the bathroom, the bedroom, and the office ceiling because we're going to be doing those white. So we'll get those three done and then move the doors into the rooms afterwards so we can do the main ceiling out here. All right, time to do the ceilings. I'm gonna be using Sherwin-Williams Eminence Ceiling Paint. Uh, just flat, bright white. Uh, you can get it off the shelf that way. Um, I'm gonna be doing two coats in, like I said, the office, the bedroom, and the bathroom. So we'll get that sprayed, let it dry overnight, and then move the doors into the bedroom. So now that we've got all the painting done, we can remove this plastic that's on these glass pieces on the French door. To do that, you need a brand new razor blade, go along all of the edges, and then you can start peeling it away from the glass. So I'll go ahead and cut all these and start peeling it off on both sides.
there it is, clean glass. So we'll just do this for the other 19 windows on both sides. Yeah, might take me a little bit. Back down here in the basement, we left the doors dry overnight. Got everything cleaned out, getting ready to do the ceilings here in the main living area. Got all the doors moved in here to the bedroom and I'm gonna let them cure out a little bit more so I'm not gonna lean them up against the wall. But everything is done, ceiling has been sprayed. Came out very nice. So we'll go ahead and get started on the ceiling here in the main area. So the paint that I'm going to be using is Painter's Edge from Sherwin-Williams. The color is Software. It's a little bit darker gray than what's up there right now. Um, and this paint that, uh, that I'm using is Sherwin-Williams Flattest Paint, uh, which we want for any reflections from the projector. I also switched my tip to a 515 tip. Uh, I seem to get a little bit less streaking along the side of the spray pattern whenever I use that tip. So I did switch that over. All right, I got everything mixed up, so let's prime the gun and get the paint. So here's the ceiling after it's almost had a day to dry. Turned out super smooth, no lines in it. And it looks awesome. Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to check out my playlist on the basement build videos. I've gone through almost every step of the process here on my channel. Uh, be sure to subscribe and check back for more.